President Christopher offers $5 and says, why not steal from Walmart if there's no God? They're rich. I'm broke. I had a stroke. I'm a failed rapper. I need the self-esteem to be truly happy. You know what? I would Mr. President you Christopher, <laughs> you you go ahead, buddy. Yeah, I can I, I, I can Robin chime in on that because reason, it's like I have stage capitalism, and they've been stealing our our labor for years. So you know what? Turnabout is fair play. I've been I've been on President Christopher's channel. You see, I'm fucking pissed off. Some vertical stole my fucking bike. A beautiful Schwinn. Durable bike from the med stores on Verdon Avenue across the street from Bojangles. I was in there oh, only for five minutes, but I came out and we got he, we got the motherfucking fudgeable on video camera. He had a slight stubble, something that looked like mini dreadlocks in his hair. His uh, beard looked like mini dreadlocks. Six foot two, he looked like he was high on meth or high on pot. Well, someone in Greenville told me he was a policeman in Kinston, and he said they they got they got a warrant out for his arrest. And that was three weeks ago. I'm still waiting. They said he had just gotten out of the prison. Well, I've been intending to send that motherfucking goddamn fudge to go back to fucking prison. I wish I could punch him. I wish I could, I could break his fucking jaw with the sledgehammer. Goddamn motherfucking fudge cool. I wish I could kill him. Nah, I don't want to kill him. I wish he would. I wish he would get hit by a car and become a paraplegic and never be able to steal another, another bike again. Where is the police when you need them? Why have that? Why haven't that? They not been able to find this goddamn motherfucking. You know what? Wait. Okay. I I've had three people say they want to buy me a new bicycle. Ever since then, and my bicycle was stolen about a uh, shit month and a half ago. But you know what? I tried to keep in touch with them. But not one of them has bought me a new bike. They 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 told me they were gonna buy me a new bike. While I appreciate their goodwill, the kind gesture. Why the hell the why they flake out? Am I a bowl, am I a fish swimming swimming in a bowl of corn flakes that people keep pissing in? Why did they why did they not fall? Up? I'm angry. You know what I want to do because of this fucking shit. I'm not gonna do it. But I want to do. I want to go to one of the one of those stores. One of those. I want to go to like Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. I want to go to Walmart. Now I want to steal myself another goddamn fucking bike. I done it back in 2007, 2008. Some motherfucking some of the son of a bitch would steal my bike from me. I just went to Walmart and I stole a bike from Walmart. Big business. They can handle it. They don't know what really happened. Was they donated a bike to me because my bike had been stolen. They just didn't know it. <laughs> oh! I want to do that so bad. I could do it. All I got to do is pull the bike down in the back. Swap. Tear down the tag on the, the, the price tag. The... That that you scan, they you see the problem with it. The bicycles in Walmart have two places where you can scan with the scanner and get the price. One right behind the seat, a little a sticker. Just tear that off, crumple it up, toss it aside, and then a, and a tire is some a round cardboard. You can where 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 it has the barcode. Just tear that all out of the bike. You want to buy, and then find another bike that's cheaper. Tear the same cardboard out of that tire. You put the cardboard from the bike 
you're gonna buy in the bike that's cheaper. And you take the cardboard for the bike whose processing is cheaper and you put it in your bike. And right from right off the bat, you're paying say, if you, you find yourself a $200 bike. Because most of the time these cashiers are gonna be dumb enough to miss it. Fine. Now don't get two. Now don't go getting a thousand dollar bike because that I'm sure they realize that. But find yourself a nice two hundred dollar bike. Pull out the cardboard with the price tag that has the barcode. It's in the front tire. Hold on to that while you find a bike bicycle that's uh, maybe eighty nine dollars. <laughs> Pull out the cardboard with the uh, barcode. Make sure you don't rip the barcode in half. And pull that down out of the front tire of the bike that's eighty nine dollars, and put it in the tire. You know, just carry. Uh, no, just put it in the. No, carry it with you. And put the cardboard. That you took out of the two hundred dollar bike and put it in the, in the bicycle. That's eighty nine dollars. Okay, you walk the bicycle up to the cashier and you hand them the cardboard. You don't want you you don't want to leave the cardboard ripped in half inside the tire. You want that because then they might get suspicious. You want to have it in your hand. And if they ask you why did you pull it out, you say you say something like. I, I don't I, I didn't it kept rubbing against this rubbing against the spokes. You come up with some lame ass excuse. You'll buy the front right off the bat you'll be getting two hundred two hundred something dollar bicycle for eighty nine dollars. Okay. Come back the next day. And you Walmart used to used to what you did when you brought back merchandise to a turn you had to come in and get a pink sticker show them the receipt make oh make sure you keep that receipt make damn sure you keep the receipt duh ding dong is anybody fucking home and you come back the next day if you if if if, if you still got to bring the back the way thing they do it today is Okay, come back the next day. Bring the receipt. But by all means, park your bike and lock it up somewhere within walking distance. Because you don't want to be seen coming into Walmart with the bike. Go back and get the bicycle. That was $89. Okay, once you do that, tear out the cardboard. Just tear it out and toss it aside. Pull the bicycle down. Because that thing, you, uh, you, you you want them to think you are turning the bike after you bought it the day before. And if it still has cardboard in the front tire, they're going to be suspicious. Especially if they bring it up and it says 200. Not. No, maybe not. Okay. You bring the bike. Yeah, especially if they bring the price that says two hundred not fifty dollars and you'll get uh, your you your receipt says eighty nine dollars so you take uh make sure you pull a little sticker off the back of the seat too check in anywhere else for where there may be stickers and you put you take it up to customer service and you return it say something some name that this seat's incompatible with my ass I don't like it. I'd like to return it. You hand them the receipt, and it's gonna match <laughs> the bike that's on the receipt, even though you did not buy that bike. Even though, it, and so you're gonna get your money back. And that, my friends, is how you steal a bike from Walmart. <laughs> oh! I so badly want to do this as a way of saying thank you God for letting my fucking bike get stolen and, and that uh, I, as a way to say thank you for all the, the 
people that said they were going to buy me a new bike. And I didn't ask for them to buy me a new bike. They told me they were going to do that. They all, all three of them, they, they, had good, I, they had good intentions. But they just didn't follow through. They flaked out. Like a bowl of corn face that someone keeps pissing in. As a way... Because I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. I want my goddamn swing bike back. But why don't I do this today? Because... I tried last year on a Friday. I got a little sloppy. I was about to steal some ally weight loss. Hey, if God won't let me eat without getting fat, I don't mind stealing the break of God's law to take some medicine that's gonna make me thin. I don't give a fuck. I will not be fat. I'd rather burn in hell section thin to go than live in all the, this uh, go to heaven being hefty and pudgy and chunky. I'm the, I, that now that's just hyperbole. I don't really mean that, but you know I think you get the fucking picture of what I'm fuck, trying to fucking goddamn say. I'd rather die section thin than live being hefty, porky, pudgy. And if I'm fat, I'll curse God to the day I die. I curse him and spit him in his face. Cause I don't want to be fat. I make it ugly. Christian, Quentin Tarantino looking motherfucker when I'm fat. I'd rather burn in hell for a thousand years. Before I go to heaven and be sectioned in now. That's just the way it is. And I don't give a fuck. But anyways. Well, I, I, I was trying to make it look like I, I was scanning the ally. I fucked up. And it scanned the price tag anyways. What I was going to do was. I was going to buy a piece of. Uh, uh, a Milky Way bar. And I had the Ally. And I had torn, out, torn it out of the box. So there was no barcode on it. So that way it would not ring. When I walked out the door. Past the scanners. But I, I had to. Call for. One of the attendants at Walmart. Take the price tag off, and that perhaps is what alerted them. So I walked over. I I bought the candy bar, ate it, walked around the store, and finally I decided to walk out. But I, I there was a man. I said I, I something was funny. What's happened? There are one more employees looking at me. For I went into the bathroom. To throw the box out. And some man came in there. Well I walked out. Well, as soon as I walked out he stopped me. And he took me to the room. Where they take shoplifters. Now it was a Friday. I, I was on probation too. Oh I could have. I could have gotten my ass fucked. I was on probation. Oh my god. Now, because of the inefficiency, this disorganization, disorganization of the store, he could not get anybody to help him make the phone calls he needed to make. And I prayed, Lord, if you get me out of this, please, I will not steal from Walmart or anywhere else for that matter. And I had stolen from plenty of places. I stolen more than one of these out of uh, weight loss because I needed to be section thin and I, I can't afford to spend money. I, I had to save money for my hair transplant. I had to save money to get my songs to pay for my songs to be produced so I can get rich and get the money to get my hair transplants. Finally he gave up and said I, I'm gonna let you go but because you have not stolen enough to you have not stolen enough to Reach the threshold, you know. Of course, because at the with the, today's lawless climate, you can steal so much, and they wouldn't even bother with it because it's not worth it to waste their time. Until you steal, if if you're shoplifting, they'll they'll mark it down, 
and wait till you steal enough so that they can charge you with a felony. But he said, but if you come back, if you steal, mu if you so much to steal a piece of bubble gum here, you will go to jail. So, I can't steal that bicycle from Walmart. And it hurts. Because I'm so angry. I need to relieve this anger. Because it gave me self-esteem when I could steal and not get caught. Whereas, if only I was a good looking guy and them girls thought I was good looking. And I had the long arms and I had my foot head full of hair. I'd have enough self-esteem I would not need to steal. And I had to wonder. That one person who said he was going to buy me a bike. Is he doing this to make me the butt of jokes? Is he leading me along so that he and his friends should that laugh at me when they're together? Ha ha ha! We we I got that motherfucker thinking I'm gonna buy him a bike. We ain't I ain't gonna buy him no motherfucking bike. That what it, what the fuck do you expect me to think when you promise me something and you not and you don't follow up? What the fuck do you think? What the fuck do you expect me to think? But we look out on the bright side. Back in 2007, 2006, <laughs> I stole my fair share of shit. Shit loads of shit. But, I can't steal anymore. I made a promise to God. It hurts, because I'm a loser. I still haven't got my hair transplant. I still am not an alpha male. I can't. I still can't pe beat people's asses in a fight. I still can't get in a fight with people who uh, are mean to me and beat their asses and give myself some self-esteem. Because my body is all decrepit. My legs are shit. Me, but instead you stood up, up, you spit me out, you keep me down. I hate your death, but love me. Oh. They said they killed my toe, they ripped my heart from my chest, left me to rot in a grave. Should've known I never stay very deep underneath. Six feet long sides of me, now watch me fight. It's time to rock and roll tonight. Yeah.